Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for coming back and checking out another video here. Um, I have some pretty freaking awesome news. Super excited about it. Um, my good buddy, Josh, his little brother is a welder. I completely forgot about it and I was talking to him, asked him if he knew anybody that welds and yeah, of course my brother. So um, he is gonna come over today. Actually, they're both coming over and we're gonna weld up these areas in the engine bay that are cracked. It's great. So um, he said he's also gonna teach me how to do it so that if I ever need to borrow any equipment or anything like that to get a job done, then I can do it myself, which I mean, that's gonna be a huge valuable life skill for me, something that I've always wanted to learn how to do, so I'm really excited about it. But before we get there, a couple hours before they're gonna come over so um, I want to make sure that I'm prepared as as prepared as possible um, so that you know they don't get here and I'm like oh I didn't do this and I didn't do that um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start by taking off the paint around all the uh, breaks in the metal um, so that we're ready to kind of clamp it in place and then uh, throw some throw some welds down on it so let's get everything set up and we'll get to it Okay, so I'm gonna start out with my little die grinder here. It's a piece of really rough sandpaper on it. A little two inch thing. Um, to get these corners, I'll probably have to bust out the Dremel, but uh, we should be okay to get this started with this thing. So, let's go to town. Okay, back in the garage, we got Josh, and this one's for you, Demon Fox 5.0, because that is Otome Sucks. And if you like that song from one of my videos, I don't remember which one, that's the guy right there. And this is his brother, Nathan. Right now, he's more of the man to me, because he is hooking my ass up. And we are uh, gonna get to welding the engine bay up, all those stupid cracks so I uh, just wanted to introduce these guys um, and uh, let's get to it This back okay. whoever is flush here. Okay. But as far as the bottom went, there's a little bit of divot right there. Okay. Yeah. But that gets filled in anyway, so mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what happened here, guys, for the viewers, 
is um, this whole thing, that whole area down there was split and then this was split up here. Um, so what I did is I just kind of went through and beat the heck out of it with a body hammer and a dolly and lined everything up as best I could um, so that we didn't have to clamp a bunch of stuff and everything. And then th that put this out of alignment. So he just went um, from here, uh, started here where it was all lined up and then just kind of pushed the rest of this back into place and welded it up. It's all good to go. So that's what it looks like there. And this is the other side right here, right by where that plug goes. So hopefully that plug stays in place now once I get all that stuff ground down reshaped should be good to go all right it is time to get to work on cleaning up these welds using a grinder um, for the bulk of it and then i will go through um, and finish it off probably with um, a combination of the die grinder and um, a Dremel if I need to. We'll see. We'll see. I might be able to just get the dry, die grinder to do all the work. So anyway, safety glasses. Let's uh, shoot some sparks. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Pretty much done with this. This isn't perfect back here. Neither is this, but that's okay. The fender covers that. I'm not so worried about this, um, those areas. This looks good. This down here looks good. Um, I will have to get the dolly out and uh, get a little better shape to this stuff. Um, not much, just a little tiny bit. Um, and then over here, this looks pretty good. It's a little bumped up, so it's smooth. It's, it's plenty smooth, so I'll probably just hammer that back a little bit. And then right here, I think there might have either been a blowout or I got too aggressive with the uh, grinder in that spot, but there was a lot of um, weld up there. And 
I mean, I can get the tip of my finger through that. It just blew straight out. So, Nathan, I'm gonna have to have you come back and give me another hand with this. Um, that shouldn't be that big of a deal. The main part is, is that the crack that was around this hole here, um, is, uh, that's fixed. So we're happy there. It's just, uh, that little, that little spot right there. I noticed there was quite a bit of buildup of, um, metal from the welding. So, um, I might've just got a little too carried away with that, but plenty fixable. Okay. So that pretty much does it for the bulk of this. Like I said, I got to hit a couple of spots with a body hammer and dolly. Um, that just takes a second. It's really easy to do. Um, so, you know, no big deal there. And, you know, get that little uh, hole fixed. Um, other than that, shoot some primer over it. And, um, you know, we're, we're good to go with the repair work on those cracks. So um, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm not gonna show me doing the uh, the hammering and the um, and the uh, primering because there really isn't anything to it, and um, it just takes a lot of massaging to get that hammering right. Um, so you know the main part is the uh, prepping, welding, and then um, and then grinding it down. So anyway, thanks for checking it out, you guys. And um, once this is all finished up and primered um, in another video, I'll just run back over it and show you the final result. So um, anyway, until next time, catch you later and uh, hope you guys have a good one. All right, guys. <clears throat> so I actually filmed the end of that video a couple of weeks ago. And since then, I've gotten these things taken care of in the engine bay everything all wrapped up so i figured instead of including that in another video i'd just pop it in the end of this one so here we go here's that side down there where that hole was that got in there on accident and then uh that's where that other crack was right there and then this side right here you know it was cracked all the way down and up and through here and then out through the top there so it's not super pretty because we got a little blowout right there um because i probably sand, you know ground it down a little too fine when i did my initial prepping but it'll work and uh it's a whole lot better than it was so um you know i've already shot some primer over it so you know it's kind of hard to see but it is what it is just figured I'd uh, pop this in here and let you know that it's done.